Hello and welcome. We're now on day eight of the JU of the Grand Union. We rested overnight last night, just uh, the other side of Cow Roast. Yeah, pub shut. Pub shut, yes. Who knew it? Mm. Yes, he had him, had me pushed for quite a considerable time yesterday, I must admit, when we finished, which was gone seven o'clock. Just gone seven. Yeah. Last night. Nine hour day. Nine hours, I was shattered. And then we did a quick recce and found that how many miles had we travelled? Seven and a half. Seven and a half miles, but we'd actually done 22 locks. 22 hard locks. <laughs> So we're now well over half the locks done now on the Grand Union and uh, we worked out, roughly works out, averages out at two locks per mile oh, so far. So far. So we can honestly say those of you who have never tried the Kenneth Navin Canal because people have told you there's too many locks are lying. <laughs> Please, please use the Grand Canyon Avon Canal. It it's seems beautiful. Like it's more, more on the bottom end of the GU than there is on the uh, K and A. And they're harder here than the Canyon Avon. They're both, they're both double locks. Both canals have got double locks. Yeah. So when you're going up, like we have been, we're now on an A summit. Um, you start going down, which is easier, really. Yeah. You just got to watch the sill. But yes, it's been hard, hard work, exhausting work. Um, why we've moved so fast in such a short time, don't know really. Um, however, there has been shortage of moorings for us because we're 70 foot, and we have had a few low pounds. And I suppose really another reason why we, we haven't is the one with. Pounds that were, a lot of them are short pounds, under a mile, um, a lot less than that most of the time. Um, obviously where the good moorings are, then uh, they're already taken. So you try and move on to a place where there's some more nice moorings and find they're taken as well. Yeah. So you just keep going. You keep going, not only that, we're not been some lovely places to moor, don't get me wrong, some yeah. lovely places. But, but, but um, also we're not, all taken. We, we prefer really... So I've got a, boat, uh, a few boats moored up. Yeah, the other side. so we're just um, just manoeuvring here. Um, yeah, we're not really city dwellers, to be perfectly honest. Um, we do no, prefer do the quiet like of the countryside. Rural. So it's been a bit difficult trying to find that, because that, that will also help the dogs as well. Um, better walking for the dogs. And it's a bit quiet too at night. It's, it's but as you can see behind there, us, there, well that's okay, I've seen worse. Um, as you can see now, it's beautiful, absolutely beautiful, you can see behind us. This is just above Cow Roast, we're about yeah. a mile above Cow Roast at the moment. Yeah, so this is very nice, we've enjoyed We've enjoyed our little stop overnight. It has rained, very short, you know, briefly. Blue skies at the moment. Blue skies. So we should be in for a good little bit of cruise. We're not going to go very far. He tells me we're not going to go very far and I'm telling him we're not going to go very far. Because my goodness, my back, my shoulders ached. I cut my finger yesterday. Drew blood. So we've had a few injuries on this canal, I must admit. You caught your finger. Poorly finger. Yeah, I've hurt my back and my shoulders. Um, cut my finger yesterday, so it's not without incident. But we've met some lovely people. We've met some subscribers to the channel and viewers to our vlogs, so it's been great. So we've had lots of waving going on. So thank you for that, and um, look forward to meet more of you. So onward with this vlog for today.
area, we have 57 miles to Bronston. It's obviously having a, oh, hello. a remake. What did I say about pegging in? We've got one across the canal. Have we? We're going to have to stop and more, re -more, re peg this boat. It's blocking the canal. Strangest thing is, sometimes you see these things, you're not sure if it's not actually sharp left bend. Well, no, or sharp no, bends, but this is definitely. No, that boat's across the canal. She's across the canal, so it looks so like we need to do a little bit of them. Um, see if we can find the pegs and peg her back up. Right, we've now seen somebody on the boat, on the roof, so we think there's probably a little bit of trouble, so we're just going to have a look and see if he wants any help. We'll keep you posted. Well, that was good. No harm come. But there's a winding hole here, and he got himself stuck in a winding hole, and he's only a 62 foot. 62 foot. I'd have no joy, would I? So, um, unfortunately, he's had to get himself out of it because he was beached up. So he's now gone down to find a, a larger turning, larger winding hole. So he's okay. Boat's okay. I could have pulled that ground for him, uh, and no harm done. No, this is more like it for us. Yeah, there's no solar though. How pretty is this? Yes, yeah, no solar, but it is pretty. And it is very nice here. Although we just bizarrely passed a sign on the left-hand side with two arrows. One facing left, one facing right. He said, welcome to the Grand Union Canal. To the left, London. To the right, Birmingham. We both looked at one another and looked behind us to think, well, is there another arm no, coming No, there's in? a railway station just up there. <laughs> It did look a bit, it did look a bit odd. But just look how peaceful is this. Just ignore the road noise. Now this is very cooling on a hot day. Just coming up to the Wendover Arm, the Grand Union. We're not going down there. But we're going on this lock. signpost here on the canal which is handy it says Wendover six and three quarter miles Brentford 38 and a half miles which is where we've come so that's how much we've actually done since we left the Thames and 55 miles to Broadston so the first lock of the day at Bourbon Junction lovely lady and her dad. In coming up the Grand Union, this is the first time we're going down. Looks like straight on to the next lock. Second lock of the day going down and in this one there's a marker that says 55 miles to Braunston. Look at that beautiful cottage as well, 1909. This is the third lock of the day. 
sun's come out now beautifully. Come through this one as we go down and take a right. Look at that little pretty cottage. And on this lot we have a very nice locky helping us. have a help with a, a locky so thank you for that and we're just going to walk around the corner to set the other one just through here is the reservoir Crossing. the lock and I'm just going to open it to get these little babies out so that hopefully mummy can say right this way here they go look just gave them a lift oh clear off we don't want you back they're out a lot for the day, just a short cruise. And this is going to be our mooring. Spring reservoirs are made up of four separate reservoirs that were built between 1800 and 1838 to supply water to the Grand Union Canal. There is a Canal and Riverside Trust car park on site and also the Bluebells Tea Rooms is just adjacent to the car park. However, after a day of cruising, both Jonathan and I agreed that we'd be better off visiting the Anglers Retreat for Well Earned Pint, which is just the other side of the car park. If you haven't already done so, please subscribe to our channel. You can also follow us on social media. Thanks for watching. See you next time.